understand that the health department did have a press briefing earlier. What were the most important points that you, you got or the recommendations that they had, of course, especially as we face a threat of the Delta COVID variant? So far, Sean, um, uh, Health Undersecretary Maria Rosario Verejere that said that uh, so far they have listed about 216 cases of Delta variant in the country. And of course, there is a still the threat of uh, this particular uh, variant. Um, uh, for now, uh, the Department of Health has uh, not monitored any Lambda variant case in the country. So it's a good news. But... Um, they actually called on the chiefs of uh, hospitals, whether public or private, to convert their uh, hospital beds into ICU beds. Uh, we have to take advantage of the two-week implementation of ECQ to improve our healthcare system. This will also be our preparation in a possible surge of uh, COVID-19. Lack. A lot of people are saying the response to the Delta variant is reactive. Um, did the palace spokesman have anything to say about this? As usual, Sean, Secretary uh, Roque denied this allegation, saying that the national government has always been prepared in the issue of COVID-19. All their decisions, according to Roque, uh, were based on the data that they have gathered and uh, they have also listened to the recommendations and advices of uh, different medical experts. Um, he also said that uh, the decision now to place NCR under ECQ starting August uh, 6 is actually a preemptive measure and not a reactive measure because based on data, they can see a possible surge by August 15. So before that happens, they have decided to uh, impose a harder lockdown in uh, critical areas like Metro Manila. All right, hoping that vaccine rollout does roll out a lot faster in the two-week ECQ period. Thank you so much for that update. Maricel Halili joining us live from Mandaluyong City.